These fearless heroes, sadly, however, cannot fight alongside each other until now. Ladies and gentlemen, Group Iron Man. What's up guys, so this is absolutely fresh off the press. The Old School RuneScape team just announced their reveals for the year of 2020. This is gonna be absolutely insane what we got coming for us. So the first thing, obviously, if you've seen it, you probably saw them talk about it, but I'm just gonna go a little bit more in depth into what exactly they are releasing, and let's just get right into it. The first thing is the Mauritania expansion. Now, the first part of the Mauritania expansion is this new quest called Sins of the Father, which is gonna be the next installment of the Myrik quest series. So if you remember in the A Taste of Hope quest, you were able to defeat Ranish Draken and things were starting to look better for the Myrik. But supposedly in this new quest, you're gonna come face to face with the Lord Draken himself. One of the main things that's gonna happen in this quest is that you'll be unlocking the vampire capital Darkmire. Right now, only the slums are accessible, which you kinda have to traverse in Darkness of Hollowvale. Now let's take a look at the requirements. The requirements are not super high and should be doable by pretty much everyone. Nothing crazy here. As for the quest rewards, an improved Evlandis flail is coming out. You also have the new Draken's medallion teleports. So I'm assuming one of those is probably gonna be to Darkmire but there could be another one. Also, I'm looking here at the map, and as someone who played RS3 around the time when they did this sort of quest in RS3, I'm noticing that there is a tree icon right here. Now in that quest, there is a blister wood tree, which is what you use to make the blister wood weapons, which are basically stronger against the vampires compared to the event this flail. So I'm assuming that is what we're gonna be using to upgrade our Evlandis flail. But, you know, you never know. Sometimes things ch are different between the two games, so we'll see how that goes. We're also gonna have a look at the new vampires in Darkmire. The vampire race is separated into classes, or casts, almost. It says here that you'll be able to pickpocket the Vire Lords and Vire Ladies for a unique item called a Blood Shard. And adding this Blood Shard to an Amulet of Torture will add a passive healing effect to your melee damage. That is huge. I am really curious if it will have a degrade option or if it's just free. That is really big though. Even if it's just a small percentage, that's, that's pretty huge. And with this update, we're also getting Elite Virewatch, which are more powerful versions of the normal Virewatch. These can be killed for an improved loot table, which includes the Blood Shard that we just talked about, and it can count towards uh, the Vampire Slayer task. And of course, you can extend or block them or whatever, so that's that. We're also getting a brand new Rune Essence Mine that requires at least 75 mining, and if you'll notice, it is almost like the living rock caverns where you click on the rock and you just continually mine ores from it until it depletes. From this rock, you will mine a stackable and untradeable item called Dayalt Shards, which can be converted into untradeable Dayalt Essence with an NPC located in the mine. Now, the crazy thing about this Dayalt Essence is that it can be used anywhere that Pure Essence can be used, as long as you have 50 runecrafting. And this essence will give 50% more runecraft XP than pure essence. Although it does say here that training runecraft through this method, including the mining time, will not be better than training it through the traditional methods. So I'm assuming the amount of shards you can get per hour won't be that crazy. But still, this just means that it's gonna be a super AFK method for getting to runecrafting all the way to 77, so you can do bloods and continue to do runecrafting. This might mean that once you get 50, you're pretty much AFK runecrafting all the way to 99, which would be pretty amazing. Probably the best update on here, in my opinion. <laughs> how do you, hold up, how do you say this word? Sepulcher, um, okay. Next we have the Hallowed Sepulcher, which by the way, that looks pretty dope. It appears to be graceful, recolored in black with a red shard. That looks epic. So a little backstory on this update. Basically, before the vampires came to Mauritania, the region was known as Hallowvale, and it was ruled by the Icean queen, 
Eferite halo. Now, Iceans are related to Ceridomen, so this is a Ceridomen city, basically. When the vampires came, they pretty much slaughtered everyone and took over. But apparently, most citizens of Hallowvale were buried in a great crypt known as the Hallowed Sepulchre. Now, a group of unknown individuals are particularly interested in recovering any of Hallowvale's old currency, Hallowed Marks, from the Sepulchre. So I'm assuming this is probably like a mini game or something. Oh yeah, so it says here that it's similar to Pyramid Plunder. So, um, oh, this is actually, this looks like it's gonna be a Pyramid Plunder for agility. Okay, that is pretty sweet, actually. Cool, I'm looking forward to that. And lastly for the Mauritania expansion is something called the Nightmare of Ashihama. Far to the east, there's an island called Ashihama, which, by the way, new island for King of the Pirates. <laughs> Amazing. So this island is home to a group of sirens, and for a long time now, it has been plagued by a nightmare. A brave siren named Shura took action, forming a group to defeat the creature in its own lair, but somehow it escaped across the ocean to Mauritania. So the nightmare of Ashihama will be a new group boss that is said to have a similar playstyle to Corporal Beast and will be both challenging and accessible. It's actually going to be released earlier than Sins of the Father and Darkmire City, which is very interesting. So that we could be seeing that early next year. Also, it's worth mentioning that if you have any ideas for rewards for the nightmare, you can send your ideas to Jagex at this email right here and leave some suggestions for them. Another one of the big reveals was an update to RuneScape's clan system. So here are some of the features that Jagex would like to offer to the clan system update. First of all, new clan ranks and permissions. You'll be able to customize access to different chat channels and organize your clan structure however you'd like. There'll be more chat channels, so you can remain in more than one clan chat basically, which is really cool. They're also increasing the amount of clan members up to 500 instead of 100 that it currently is. We're also gonna be having clan-wide kill death counters so that will be interesting. Customizable recruitment boards, notice boards, broadcast messages, link your clan Discord server. That's awesome, actually. So it looks like they're even, they're integrating with Discord a little bit on this one as well. That'll come in handy. And next up, here is what we have all been waiting for for a long time. Group Iron Man. So it is finally here. We are finally getting Group Iron Man. I know all of you are probably excited. I'm super excited for this. I'm definitely participating in this. Group Iron Man will be able to join a group of two to five players and you and your team will earn your items and supplies together without trading any other players. Also, there will be a group size high scores table. So I'm wondering if there could be team names and stuff too, because that would be sick. And of course, there's also this new clan system, so that will be integrated into the group Iron Man so that your group Iron Man will have its own separate chat channel so you can communicate together, which is awesome. There will also be a group leader, and the group leader will have the power to initiate a vote to remove someone from the group. So kind of like um, Dungeoneering or more recently like Chambers of Zarek. I am most excited about group iron man by far i think it's going to add some really unique kind of gameplay mechanics that you can't really do on iron man so that is something i am definitely looking forward to and just imagine the potential with this you could have a group iron man restricted series you could have group pirate man that would be sick i don't know but this is going to be an amazing update cannot wait for this By far, most of these updates sound pretty good, except there was one that particularly caught my interest that was only briefly touched on. Um, perhaps it's time to see where all that's going and um, what threats from the distant past may be coming back to trouble the present. Beneath the kingdom of Koren, something lurks in the shadows. But perhaps I'll cover that in a later video.
Just before I go, I'd like to part with a question for you guys. What are you most looking forward to in 2020 for Old School RuneScape? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and if you'd like to see more videos like these, then you know what to do. Like and subscribe. So, a bit more down to earth now. I've got a cup of tea. How much more down to earth do you get?